Well, you can just stop worrying about me. I am totally safe. The only person who knew that I was here, besides Kendall, is now lying on a slab in the mausoleum. Well, you're lucky not on a slab with him. I'm trying to keep it that way. Jimmy said nobody knew he was here. Jimmy also said that he was your best friend and Noah's best friend. Now, he killed your husband and was about to kill you. I'd know if I'd bet my life on his word. I'm just repeating what you fed Kendall. Don't tell me you were lying. What if Jimmy was fall out? What if his boss sent some people after him? We gotta get out of your pack of stuff. No. This is my home. I just got back here. Nobody is forcing me out of it. I'm staying. hauled out of this house. Some of the best days of my life were spent here. Holidays, lazy afternoons, and riding with Maria. My wedding. Those memories keep me sane, and I won't give them up. I'm not asking you to. Well, then leave me alone. What if Jimmy's pals come here? How are you going to do? Have an open house for him? Let them come. And if I'm extra lucky, maybe when Jimmy doesn't report back, his boss, this dragon guy, will come after me himself. And then I'll have exactly what I want. The person who ordered Noah's death front and center. I don't... Whoever this dragon guy is, he's all about standing in the shadows. That's what he wants. He's not going to give up who he is just to finish a job that his hitman screwed up. Think about this a little bit. You're smarter than this. If you hang yourself out there as bait, it's just going to keep sending people and sending people until you're dead. Why all this concern? Are you afraid? You want to save yourself? We have so much to live for. Kendall and all. It's not about me. No, exactly. So go and leave me alone to handle it. Mm -hmm. All right. You've got to make sure you're going to close all the windows and then, you know, doors and stuff, right? You don't know who's going to come by. I will. I will. And you know what else I'll do? I'll sign a waiver to Maria. I'll tell her that you, you did everything that you could. You risked your life. You even killed a man to keep me breathing. Clear conscience, guilt gone. You're off the hook with Maria, and I can do what I need to do. Someone's coming. Yet. I, I thought I left them here, but I guess not. Either that or somebody moved them. Maybe it was the... Well, what about the rug? Did you find it? Eh, no big deal. Brooke probably sent it to my mom. And she loved that rug. She got it on some vacation with my dad. Well, don't you want to look for the tennis rackets anymore? Yeah, I do, but, um... I want to ask you something first. Okay. You haven't mentioned the ghosts once since we've been here. How come? I don't understand why you would ask me that. There's no trick to it. I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, you were all about the ghosts at Wild Wind, and then all of a sudden, nothing. How come? Oh, I'm not good at this. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, I'm not upset. I want to understand. You asked me not to talk about the ghost, so I didn't. And now that I'm not, you're asking me why I'm not talking about it? And the answer would be because you asked me not to, right? Yeah, right, I did. I didn't mention the G-H-O-S-T because it makes you feel bad. And I didn't want you to feel bad. Just like you didn't want me to feel bad. Because we like each other. Is that right? Or did I get something wrong because I have autism spectrum disorder? Forget about your disorder. You're doing everything exactly right. I don't want to make a mistake. 
Not a chance. They don't teach it in my life skills class. I asked my coach if she would help me script love, but she didn't. She said it was too complicated. So we scripted going to the Department of Motor Vehicles instead. Well, there is nothing complicated about why I love being with you. Things are just better when you're around, I guess. I like it when you laugh and your eyes crinkle. And I like the way that you do funny things with your food. Oh, yeah, I like that whole geometric thing you do with your waffles, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dad and Erica and Kendall and Greenlee and Bianca and Miranda, too. But it doesn't feel like this. When I'm with you, everything seems to fit. Like, all the parts of my body fit together better. Does that make sense? I think we fit together pretty well. Is that love, too? And there's a million ways to love someone. Or, you know, 999,999, at least. You know what else is love? Just being here, doing nothing. Or do something, like look for the tennis rackets. All right, let's go down to the maintenance shed by the courts. Come on. Why is there love in tennis? Like, love 15, love 30, love 40? The only love I know is you. See? That's another reason why you can't be here. Sam and Lily out of the wild went all the time. As long as people are gunning for you, you can't be here. No one's safe. You know, Sam and Lily, they... Mm, they reminded me of what I had with Noah. That, uh, you know, two hearts united against the world thing. I was wrong. You're not giving up, are you? No. I'm more determined than ever. I will bring down whoever killed Noah. But I don't need to stay here to do it. I thought I needed to be here to hold on to it, to, to feel, to remember. But love isn't about places and things. Noah will be with me, making me stronger wherever I am. Right. This is too dangerous. I, I need to leave here. Leave it to Lily to make you see reason. Ah, oh, that sweet girl and my nephew reminded me what love's all about. As long as you're okay. Let's get moving. Are you packed? Always. I have been for the last nine years. It's the first thing you learn in witness protection. What is it? This guy's cutting the lawn that's already been cut. <laughs> <laughs> 